Hi Journal Junkies! And today I'm really excited because we get to go through the Polaroid Zip mobile photo printer. Um, thanks to Polaroid for this, this is beautiful, I'm really excited. Um, so let's open it up and have a look. Now just for the record, I have previously loaded the paper that came with it. They come in these little uh, silver bags. And you pack it in, in here, with the blue side facing down. And make sure you don't touch the prints. And then I went ahead and charged it on my computer or any USB I believe can work. Um, and as I do with all my chargers, I like to mark them with a bit of a washi tape. Right, printer or not. And this way I always know which is the printer charger. Um, it took maybe, I think maybe two hours. I didn't time it, I should have timed it. But it didn't take very long at all for the light on the bottom when it's charging to go from red to green, and I assume green means it's charged, so. Easy peasy. All right, let's find the instructions again. Um, so with every one, you get 10 prints, which is very exciting. And the barcode facing down, we did that. Okay, so now I've got to turn it on. Power button's on the side, okay. And then I go to my Bluetooth. Fabulous. Oh, so I need to now install an app. My engine's a little bit slow here, but let's try. Okay, move this box. Wait, oh, I've got to show it my face in order to click, so hold on. And that's installing. All right, so we've got the app down here. Finally uploaded. I'll have to take our photos. And then we have to sign in. So, we've confirmed and I'm in. I think that's gonna tell me how to do it. So I can take a photo straight away and print it by the looks of things. So I can adjust my gallery view, check printer connectivity up here, let's take some new photos, create a collage from them, select where I want to print, edit them, and scroll through the options. So I'm quite excited because this looks like it's going to be real cool. So let's just pick something like this. I just took this the other day in the garden. So there are filters and there are frames. There are stickers. Print preview. I definitely want the flowers on there. Hmm. Like that. Beautiful. Next. Cool. So there's this bit of a white bar at the top. Let me see if I can. Oh, shiitake. Okay, let's do it like that. Perfect. Next. Cool, so hopefully that's what we get. We don't want a timestamp. I don't want to adjust anything, I just want to print it. exciting really so I don't know if you can see that I'll find you the foot again so you can compare it it's pretty good like I'm pretty happy with that okay so let's try oh yeah here we go 
lots of embarrassing photos on here. <laughs> All right, so this one, I wanna try doing this one. I really like this photo. So what happens if I create collage? Oh, I can put two on one. Okay, so I'm gonna put one up there. Uh, okay, that's what's happening. All right, so save. So that's my picture. Gonna print them out. Let's see. So there's lots of different color tones there. So we're gonna see how it deals with the ready warmer colors and the bluer colder colors. And also, I think the small prints that are gonna come out be pretty detailed. Sure, it's pretty good. <laughs> And that's the comparison. For a little tiny printer, it does a pretty good job, I think. Like, I'm pretty impressed with this. Fabulous, you know what the next thing is, don't you? How are we gonna use it in our bullet journal? <laughs> so I'm gonna be, over the next few months, exploring heaps of ways we can use these prints. Uh, we can do heaps of different things. Lots of different spread ideas. I've got I've got a lot of ideas, guys. I do, um, but I don't know what this is going to be yet. I like things being on this way. So unfortunately, that's where my camera dies. <laughs> Um, but I thought I'd go ahead and make it into a spread anyway. I didn't really have a plan Yeah, I kind of just went with the pink and decided to kind of take a leaf out of Plantiful's book. Um, I love her spreads. They're always just so kind of put together without being on squares and boxes and lines. So I kind of decided I was going to try something like that this week. Um, I had all these flyers from the sphere that we went to this weekend. Um, and so I cut out all the pink bits thinking that was a really cool idea, um, except I got to this point and then realized that I actually didn't have any glue. Um, but what I did have were these washi tape, um, which are great. We've got several in stock, uh, different kinds in stock at the moment, but they're like separate petals. So you see, you kind of peel them off and you get to stick down individual petals and I've got two different pink ones here so um, luckily that worked out really well and um, they were able to yeah help decorate the page as you can see I haven't found the spread out at all I just kind of rolled with the Polaroid beginning and ended up with this what you haven't seen is me penciling in my days so where I've done that pink watercolor uh, I've actually pencil outlined the days of the week and so now I'm gonna uh, get my thickest sh not sharpie why am I trying to say sharpie um, the thickest steedler I've currently got in my position and yeah fill in those days So you probably already know that I am actually no good at calligraphy or whatsoever. Um, so I do this little cheat thing where all the down strokes, I essentially just kind of go over and make thicker after the fact, which is a great way of making something look good if you have very limited artistic skill like I do. I don't know where I found this tip. Uh, I think a lot of people do this. Um, so when you see great brush lettering or something in the future, always think that it could be fake. Honestly, we're not all RC geniuses, guys. All right, and then I just wanted to make sure that I had, you know, task boxes here because I feel like it kind of just 
makes the spread have a little more structure. And I like structure. Now, unfortunately here, what you're not seeing is uh, me sticking in uh, one of those double photos I took. Um, but I decided I was gonna cut around the edges. The edges were softer and um, put a few more back petals. And this is how it turned out. Um, I was really pleased with the result. I think considering it started just as a Polaroid print and uh, developed into this, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, overall, the Polaroid set was um, really easy to use, really easy to set up. Uh, just download the app and then you can play around with the collages and things. And yeah, I think it has really good quality prints considering it is so small, so I can even take it traveling with me. So make sure you hit subscribe, especially if you want to know more ways you can use Polaroids in your journal. I'm going to be exploring uh, quite a few different collections and spread ideas I've got over the next few months um, and how, yeah, how we can use this exciting technology in our analog systems. It's going to be us, find that kind of ironic. <laughs> Perfect. All right, well, make sure you subscribe and uh, leave me any comments that you have down below. And um, thanks for watching.